All right, we have these single arm kettlebell swings. So everything is exactly the same from the hips down when performing the single arm swing. The only thing that changes is that from one hand or two hands we're going to one. So, gonna get ourselves set up, about shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider, in a nice athletic stance. Reach down, grab that kettlebell. From here, we're going to lean back slightly, try to pull and engage that lat as much as you can. And then from this position, you're going to hike that kettlebell through. What I want you to do when we're first starting out with these kettlebells, these single arm swings, is to have that off hand as a guide hand and pretend that it's there like our two hand swing. So we're here, hike through, and then I'm exploding through with the hips. I want your hips to come through at the same time. Be careful when we do single arm swings, we want to have a tendency to shift and load weight and whip the hips through. So if you're doing a right-handed swing, make sure that your right hip is not coming through and your left one's coming through after that. What you want to do is come through exactly the same motion. So what that'll look like is this. We're here, hike through, hips come through at the same time, still bracing my glutes, my core, and my lat at the top and letting that kettlebell reach. Now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the hips when they move out of unison. We're here, right? We don't wanna be whipping those hips around. We want them coming through at the same time. So from the side, just like this. And now watch my hand, it's a guide hand. It's gonna be the same motion. Here, hike through, hand goes up and back down. Just as if it was up for the two and it's fine, but single arm swing. This is gonna help us get a lot more side activation and isolation of those abs and obliques. And that is the single arm swing.